vectors vectors are basically a part of mathematics and mathematics is language of physics in physics we have to study mathematics especially algebra trigonometry geometry vectors and then calculus the first three parts that is algebra trigonometry and geometry as you have covered in your previous classes but now we will cover the vector part and later on calculus part so vector in vector first thing is physical quantity physical quantity now any quantity that can be expressed in numbers or can be measured in units is known as physical quantities physical quantities are also known as mathematical objects we have two type of physical quantities first is scalar and second one is vector now scalar are those physical quantities which have only magnitude but they don't have any direction for example number of apples in a basket number of pen lines on a table or time mass length volume so scalar quantities the quantities that are that have only magnitude but no direction for example in terms of physical quantities we have time length mass volume density temperature and so on but in vector quantities we have magnitude that is for vector quantities magnitude as well as direction is necessary now why we need vectors now suppose you have to visit current your current position here that is at point o and you have to visit your friend's house and your friend tell you that his house is 5 km away from this point that is from the position o now without knowing direction you can't reach your destination because 5 km can be anywhere that is 5 km a radius of 5 km and the destination can be anywhere on this circle so we need magnitude that is 5 km plus a direction so that we can reach our destination means if om is at point a then we need a specific direction that is in which direction we have to move so vectors are those quantities we have which have magnitude as well as direction but it does not mean that every quantity that have magnitude and direction are vector quantities for example we have some quantities that have magnitude as well as direction but those quantities are scalar those quantities are not vector for example time time have a particular direction time always flow from past to present and from present to future so time has a magnitude as well as a direction but still time is a scalar quantity second one is second example is heat heat always flow from high temperature to low temperature so in conventional term heat have a magnitude as well as a direction but still heat is a scalar quantity one more example that is electric current current always flow from high potential that is high voltage to low voltage or low potential but still current is a scalar quantity so for vector quantities we have the basic condition uh, basic condition is magnitude as well as direction 
plus the most important thing and that is those quantities should follow vector law of addition or also known as triangle law of addition or also known as parallelogram law of addition we will study it later on for now you have to remember that for a vector quantity magnitude direction and most important that is triangle law of addition or parallelogram law of addition or it is also known as and they both combine in combined form known as vector law of addition the example of vector quantities are displacement velocity force field and so on now our main question is vector so representation of vector how to represent a vector in notation and in geometrical form that is representation of a vector there are two ways to represent a vector first a vector can be written in bold letter such as the letter can be capital as well as small so first way to represent a vector that is represent it in bold letter second one is with a light letter with an arrow head now in text it is simple to write bold letter but in conventional in conventional writing the much simpler is second one so we will use this format here second thing magnitude of a vector magnitude or it is also known as modulus or also known as amplitude these three terms are basically one so magnitude modulus or amplitude of vector can be represented as either in this way or simply in a light letter without an arrow head or again bold letter inside the magnitude these uh, these three ways magnitude modulus amplitude actually same thing we have three ways to represent the magnitude or modulus or amplitude of a vector in geometrical form if we have to represent a vector then in geometrical form a vector is represented by a line segment the point from where vector is starting is known as initial point that is point o is known as initial point or we can say that tail of the vector and the point where vector is going to end that is p is known as terminal point or also known as head of the vector or also known as tip of the vector the initial point is also known as origin of the vector now since vector is a vector have a direction as well so direction is represented by in this way there are two ways to represent a direction either we can represent vector as shown here or at the end of vector the more used term is second one so here op the length of line segment op that is length of op represents magnitude of vector 